Alright, this is for you. What you got here is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Nintendo Switch. In this specific demo, you're going to be wandering around some of the opening areas, kind of exploring the left. Left stick is going to move you where you need to go. Right stick is going to B will allow you to dash, X is to jump. Uh, more buttons will prove themselves out as the game progresses. Don't worry about it, it's going to walk through. Volume is that big dial if you need it. Uh, it's the big dial for that. Oh, oh, in the back. Yep. Uh, it's going to be starting off quiet. Don't worry, it's all going to be there. So all right. you want to slide those on. And a little bit into your demo as well. I'll jump in and say, hey, why don't we try handheld mode for this? All right, cool. Don't worry about it. I got you. Thanks. Enjoy, man. This Joy-Con controller feels really good in the hand. I mean, a lot of people are saying that it was small, but it just, it feels good. It is a bit small, but it doesn't feel overbearing or it doesn't feel small. In fact, it's very comfortable. Let's get it playing Breath of the Wild for the second time. I really like the way it feels. Test out the, the if you want to go for it, man, by all means. Just, uh, no, please, man. Exactly like that. Get the Joy Con. Really nice. Oh, simple. I've seen this kitchen. Here we go. Perfect. Oh, wow, this stick is really sensitive. Okay, perfect. Wow. So you heard that, folks. This offers a button customization. And you know, I play this on Wii U at E3, and I can say that the distance mapping on the Switch version is a lot better than the Wii U. I can see a lot of things clearer in the distance. Because it blurs out after like Death Mountain or anything like that. But now we can see it straight. I mean, you can even see, you couldn't even see this on the Wii U version. The season was. And remember, too, what you see, anything you see, you can be able to go to in the full game. Alright, so I know that there was the. Uh, Okay, yeah, I definitely want to do Alright, I don't have time to take her out. Before. Hetsu, who is Hetsu? Hello, that's not that's my mind, I don't remember. Okay, it's a dusty broadsword. Let's get it. Let's get it. Finally, don't drown on me. Don't drown on me, boy. All right, cool. All right, we can take it. Wait, the trout's here, so I know the trout's here. All right, here we go. Oh, good. Right there, there's the memories. See, right there, memories that you'll be able to recover. In the game. Boy, 18 memories. Hello. Alright, so 
I know there's a good spot for him. I don't want to say crossbow, but actual. Actually, I'm not going to go for the stronger bow because I'm on a time limit here. I'll do one play this time. I mean, look at that line. Durability to them. So yeah. The more you beat them up, the more damage they're going to take, the less they're going to break. So I definitely don't want to use my sword in spots because. Okay. I really think I'm gonna map stealth to a button instead of the stick. Because I'm just gonna have the stick act as my toggle for the button. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. For this game specifically, it's possible to not be stuck on the great plateau. It will be possible. Oh, here we go. Here it is. Oh, and that's Daryl. Perfect. You won't be able to come back up. Or you won't be able to come back up. Oh, that's a Oh man, here we go. My favorite. Yeah. Still got one left, man. Boom. <laughs> okay, I need my I need my hat. I need my hat. Yeah, there you go. You're also able to re-equip it from the menu itself. Nice. Alright, right, man, you're in a safe spot. Right. Back of this controller. Right. See that button? Press yep. down, pull up. Same thing on the other side. Alright, we're doing it, guys. We're doing it. Alright, you can take both Joy Cons, slide them down on the rail. Oh, same way. Hold up. Oh. There you go. Wow. Check it out. Wow, this looks great in this Whoa. Honestly, I didn't expect it to look this good. Like, I need to, like, there it This thing looks amazing. So I'm going to try, I'm going to try it. There. I really should get another weapon because this is kind of crap. Oh, yeah. I, I, am, I am not lying, this thing looks amazing on me. If I could just zoom in a little bit as much as I can, it looks great. Wow, point blank and you still can't kill me? What? Boy, take that good look. Uh, that guy has a sword, so I don't want to get that. Oh, hello. Come here. Get it. 
Give me your sword. This looks so good. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for you guys to let you know. This is the Nintendo Switch. Definitely like the graphics on this thing look clear as day. I can just imagine playing this. Wow, like uh -oh. playing this on on the go. We can get this. We can get this. Oh my goodness. All right, it's no longer called the Tower Resurrection. Interesting. It's a different name. A different name. Mind if I put it back on the dock? By all means, man. And it's that simple. Look at that. It's going to go as fast as your connection will allow. So whatever HDMI cable, that's how right. it's going to go. You're going to have to get that time. <laughs> and we're back in. Did it turn this way? Castle is for Emily Gannon. Yeah, I... It looks infinitely better than the Wii U version of the Wii U version. Oh, boy. I'm loving your hype. Yeah. You're loving the hype. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm loving this. <laughs> yeah, I, and it comes out in less than seven weeks. Man, the wait is over. The wait is over, ladies and gentlemen. Finally! All right. <laughs> oh, boy, my boy, Gannon. Do you have an interest? Oh, the French castle. You got it. Oh, the French castle. Before it's too late. That's really going to go. Alright, so let's get down to town. Ooh, boy. Here comes the mysterious old man.
Another travel story about this one? Alright. 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 Maybe try going for that ledge over there? Uh, uh, uh. I, nah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. There you go. <laughs> you made it. Way that it's oh, you okay, brother. You good? You good? All right. All right. It's just like there's definitely an improvement from when I played over at E3. Uh, the controls feel a lot tighter, a lot more sensitive and stuff. Because um, I, I I had a strange disconnect uh, at the E3 version, but this one seems optimized. Like the game is ready, so I'm I'm ready for it too. How did you feel about uh, going from TV mode to hand? Oh, it's great. It's it's so easy to do, and man. I mean, definitely playing on TV is great, but when you gotta go, you gotta go, and you play it on this, and it's, and I'm I'm just ready for this. Concert. It's ready. Okay. Yo, Thank you so much. No problem, man. Yo, if you haven't tried Arms or Splatoon too? Oh, I'm definitely gonna go for that. Arms is probably my favorite thing here. Right? All right, so I'm trying out Breath of the Wild with the Pro Controller now a little bit. You know, the difference is very massive. The Pro Controller feels really good. It's not as small as the regular controller, but the Joy-Con grip. Uh, it still felt really good. It didn't feel uncomfortable or anything like that. But this, this, I, I like this one. It's pretty much the same scheme. Nothing too out there. Like it feel, it feels really good. But if I had to have a preference. Um, I think I like the Joy-Con more a little bit better than uh, than this for Breath of the Wild. Uh, but both of them are really good, it's just hard to pick. I'm definitely going to pick this one up, but... <laughs>